Hello Space Cats and welcome back to my channel. Recently, the scientific community has saw the loss of Freeman Dyson, a famous theoretical physicist and mathematician, but perhaps most well known for his science communication of extraterrestrial civilizations. In memory of Dyson, this week I'll be talking about Dyson Sears, so let's jump right into it. A Dyson sphere is a hypothetical megastructure that encloses a star as to harvest all of its energy. The original concept was actually first mentioned by Olaf Stapledon in his sci-fi novel Star Maker from 1937, but it was named Dyson Sphere after Freeman Dyson who popularized it in his 1960s scientific paper Search for Artificial Stellar Sources of Infrared Radiation. I'll put a link to that down below. The reason being that on a planet with advanced intelligent life, at one point they're going to need more energy than can be provided at the Earth by the Sun. We're seeing this even on our own planet with our huge energy consumptions for like computers and phones, it's exponentiating. In the paper, Dyson calculates that on a solar system like our own, the planet Jupiter could be disassembled and then reassembled into a spherical shell around the Sun at twice the Earth's distance from the Sun. It could be two to three meters deep, enough for humans to go walking around on it, while being able to maximize the amount of energy collection from the Sun, taking in energy from all different directions. The Dyson sphere would completely surround the star, so it would be dark and difficult to see in visible telescopes. But these systems would be visible in infrared light. It would re-radiate the light that is absorbed from the sun, um, making it shine in infrared. At first, you might think that a completely solid, uniform Dyson sphere would be unstable because even if the sun were a little bit off center, the gravity of the sun surely would pull the Dyson sphere um, more and more on the closer side, making it even more off center, right? However, this isn't quite the case because um, for the one point on the sphere that is closer, there are many more points that are further away and this tends to pull it back in the other direction. So the net gravitational pull by the sun will cancel out. Any other causes of drift, however, do need to be corrected. Since the sun emits huge amounts of radiation and solar wind that will exert an outward pressure on the sphere, in principle, windows could be built onto the sphere to release pressure at certain points, effectively acting as a thruster to uh, correct the sphere's position. Then there's also the question as to whether or not the sun would collapse upon its own weight. And the answer is no. You can calculate that the sphere would have a negligible mass in comparison to the sun, but its center of mass will be at the sun. The overall structural strength shouldn't be an issue here. The biggest problem in building a Dyson sphere is being able to collect all of that material and right now we're just no way near advanced enough to mine all that material from Jupiter. Building it is going to be a huge problem too because even though the structure is stable as a sphere, it wouldn't be stable as uh, straight away whilst you're trying to build it. You would need to be able to keep it stable up until completion some other way. Also, if we wanted to live on the surface of a Dyson sphere, we would also need gravity and an atmosphere too. These would be much harder to obtain. One suggestion is to make the Dyson sphere spin, but the details of that is way too much for this week's video. Um, but maybe by the time we figure out how to move Jupiter's mass um, of material and reorganize it into a sphere, we'd also be able to synthesize an atmosphere and artificial gravity too. Can we detect a Dyson sphere? 
The answer is yes, it is possible. Back in 2015, astronomers and citizen scientists working on the Planet Hunters project observed some very strange behaviour coming from KIC 8462852, otherwise known as Tabby's star. The observations saw um, huge periodic dips in the starlight by up to 22%, whereas if the dip was caused by a planet, you'd expect it to be closer to 1%. One explanation for this was that the dip was caused by a huge solar panel structure, a Dyson sphere, built by an advanced alien civilization. Nevertheless, in 2017, a study showed that the amount of dimming changes with the wavelength of the light observed, which is consistent with dust and not an opaque structure such as an alien megastructure, which would block all wavelengths of light equally. Later, in 2016, a star named EPIC 20427896 was observed to have light dips of up to 65% in periodic intervals. But likewise, the favoured hypothesis of the cause is a swarm of comets orbiting the star and not a Dyson sphere. We still haven't detected a Dyson sphere yet, but it's definitely not out of the question, so keep an eye out. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.